Hey kitties, Uncle Jay here again with another shameless, pointless video. So enjoy. Today we're looking at some of my uh, rarities and oddities and uh, keep them all in uh, the china closet back there. So uh, let's maybe go take a peek, huh? So, this is the uh, infamous uh, China uh, cabinet closet. Think of them bit jiggy. Getting jiggy with it. Is that annoying? Alright, so let's open this bitch up. So, I'm gonna. Prop the camera somewhere, maybe right there on the top. All right, so I can show you the stuff that's on the the other show. Like I got uh, it's a Final Cut CD that Pogo got me for Christmas. Uh, I never opened it because I had already had one, but I didn't have the heart to tell him that uh, I already had it. So I keep that under wraps. All right, so oddities. So I've, you guys have seen this in, you know, the my uh, three bands that I have the most albums of. I wish there was a light under me. But uh, anyway, yeah. So you know the the Marilyn Mansons the tapes. <coughs> the only one that you didn't see was the uh, the Wasp. Fuck like a beast. That's pretty dope. When I ordered it, I thought it was the CD, and it turned out to be the fucking cassette tape. So I never opened it. The fuck am I gonna do with it? Um, what else we got? We got uh, Kings of Norway, uh, which has uh, Emperor. Immortal, Demu Borger, Ancient, and uh, I don't know what the fuck that one says, but it's on uh, Spikerm Records, Kings of Norway. Um, I think it's rare. I, I never even opened it. Uh, Charles Manson, Lie, still under wraps. I got this at a, at a fucking Rhino Records. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know why. I found it over at FYE, Jane's Addiction. I was hoping it would have the, uh, the little prayer book inside. Uh, here we go. Uh, Cradle of Filth, Digipack, uh, Book, uh, Midian. Uh, I, I believe it's 2000 or 2001. Uh, fantastic album. And I believe it has an extra track on there. Uh, for those who have died, I believe that's an Iron Maiden song. And uh, it has uh, her Ghost in the Fog video. So, I, I, I have... This one I keep sealed, and the other one I have opened. Uh, this one's pretty rare. Mushroom Head. XX. Um, this is before they were taken off the shelves and redone by Universal uh, because of some kind of uh, uh, I don't know some kind of court thing. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, got uh, Tenacious D, the Pick of Dex Destiny box. Which uh, has the CD, tarot cards, and of course the Pick of Destiny. Alright. 
What else we got? Uh, we have the corn uh, Good God single, which belonged to Pogo. He never opened it, so I will never open it neither. But it has uh, uh, six versions of Good God. Some of them remixed by Rammstein. So that's pretty dope. Uh, Static X single. Push it. This was also Pogo's because I do have one of my own. The, uh... The Aerosmith A Little South of Sanity Live. Uh, soft... Co uh, soft cover edition. That's... Why would it do that? Why the fuck would it do that? All right. <laughs> so, that's Aerosmith. We also have uh, the deluxe box edition of the Mew Burger, Puritanical Euphoric Misentropia, which uh, came with a poster. CD, which included uh, uh, the song You're Gonna Burn in Hell, Twisted Sister cover, and a patch. Pretty cool. I sound boring, but I look fabulous. Let's see. I got, uh, I found this over at a hole in the wall place over in uh, Kingston, New York. A VHS copy, the original VHS copy of Pink Floyd The Wall. How cool is that, huh? It's pretty fucking dope. Let's see what else I got. I have, uh, Marilyn Manson collections. Contains a VHS and a uh, CD of uh, the last tour on Earth from 99. And uh, also has a poster. Found this also in the same place in Kingston. A uh, hole in the wall place. The, uh, the first edition hardcover copy of uh, Al Jorgensen's book. Um, the Lost Gospels, according to Al Jorgensen. What a fucking handsome guy he is, huh? Love that fucking guy. I haven't even read it yet. Everyone keeps saying, you gotta read it, man. You gotta read it. You did <sighs> What else can I pull over here? Uh, got the deluxe edition of Fight Club. Uh, the box it looks like a packaging. I uh, got a uh, King Crimson box set. Has a bunch of live garbage on there. The I believe it's the 20 year anniversary, 10 year anniversary of uh, Old Dirty Bastard. Yeah. Hey, dirty, baby, I got your money, don't you worry. I said, hey. So this has like a two CDs and a bunch of crap in there. Uh, fuck it, I might as well show you what it looks like. This thing's been filling for ten minutes already. Oh, shit. So, it's got a poster in there. Shows ODB looking all dope and shit. Or doped up. And, uh, it's got a wallet. Looks like a, a wallet. Open it up. It's got the license in there. Gotta love this shit. Huh? Huh? Yeah! ODB. 
case nobody knows out there, ODB is one of my heroes. One of my heroes. He didn't give a fuck about nothing. That's the way it should be. All right. So, I got some shit on that side. All right. So, let's see. What else we got? Uh, very rare Ghost of Tan Jode single, which came with the VHS. That was Pogo's. This was also Pogo's, uh, Rage Against the Machine, live and rare, I believe from Japan. Uh, we got Jane's Addiction, live and rare, also from Japan. Uh, issues, alternate corn cover, because they had a contest, for anyone that doesn't remember, there was a, a contest and they picked uh, four drawings. Let's see. Uh, White Zombie uh, Nightcrawler's KMFDM mixes. I guess the original price was $6.99. Let's see. Uh, let me put uh, some of this shit in here as a barrier. Alright. Now we're good. So we got some more singles and shit. These are from box sets. Uh, which is why there's no barcode on the back. This is Smashing Pumpkins uh, Zero. And then this is uh, Nirvana All Apologies and Rate Me. This one has a uh, moist vagina on it or some shit. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else we got? The uh, Alice in Chains Bank box. It's pretty fucking sweet. Um... The, you saw this on my one video of the three bands I had the most of. Ministry Singles box set from Germany. Um, Lard, this was Pogo's. Uh, Last Temptation of Reed. And uh, I have one of my own. But this one doesn't have a barcode on it. So this one is the original. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, you guys saw this on my other video, Nine Inch Nails. Um, all that could have been box. Um, this one's pretty fucking cool. I got this as a Secret Santa back in two no ninety nine from uh from uh. A workmate that's no longer with us. Tool, Salvia, the uh, DVD version. Cool box. Open said box up. It's got this right here. So you got one side which is a CD and the other side's a DVD. I think the DVD just has like music videos and and shit like that. Let's see, uh, what else do I got? Uh, let me move these. Home movies from when I was a kid. Uh, Grand Declaration of War, Digipack, still sealed. Came from Media Play, I believe. Um, sloppy Seconds, Originals. Original Sloppy Seconds. Not like anyone's ever heard of them or anything. Uh, Effects Twin, still sealed. 
Um, window liquor. Cool. Let's see what else. Um, uh, album sucks, but whatever. Disturbed. When they had the stupid big belt buckle digipack book thing. Really don't give a fuck about it. But I still have it. Bile. Sex reflex. Still in the package. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, so, I got distracted. Uh, the original Cannibal Corpses with the original logo. This one's really interesting. Uh, this is uh, the uh, remastered Butchered at Birth. But uh, on the side, it says Eaten Back to Life, their first album. And on the back, it's Eaten Back to Life. So I believe this is Eaten Back to Life with a Butchered at Birth cover in there, which is a factory fuck-up, which means it's probably worth something, so I never opened it. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, what else do I got? Got uh, Nine Inch Nails, Closure. I believe you saw that on my other video. Marilyn Manson, Dead to the World. Two fantastic VHSs. Put some of these over here. Okay. The uh, Ministry Cards. I believe you saw that last time also. Okay, so up here, put my camera down here like this. Um, got this uh, sweet Pantera cup with a bunch of crap in it, a bunch of lighters from when I worked at a rehab. I was taking lighters away from everyone. Um, Let Sleeping Corpses Lie, the White Zombie box set, which, uh, this was Pogo's. Um, a whole bunch of Anton LaVey books and shit like that. Uh, this one's pretty cool. This was also Pogo's. The original Ozzy Osbourne Live and Loud, uh, CD box. Let me get underneath some light for this one. That's pretty fucking cool. When he found that, I was seriously pissed off because this has to be worth something. This has to be worth something. That's fucking cool. That's fucking cool. I was pissed when he, when he when he got that, he was like, ha ha, I got it and you didn't, faggot. And uh, now I have it and I display it in here in his honor. Um, so, and then, you know, obviously right here is the uh, Metallica box set. Uh, a box of everlasting cocksuckers. That I made back in the late 90s. Um, these are all the Anton LaVey books and shit like that. That's for another day. Where the fuck is my hand? Oh, there it is. And, uh... I mean, I'm sure there's some other oddities in here and shit like that. But that's pretty much most of them. Um, yeah, I mean, I showed you the, the Marilyn Manson box the other day, and, uh, yeah, so, 
Let me show you some of the figures that I have that are, I guess, kind of rare. Uh, here's uh, uh, Metallica, Kurt Hammett. It's pretty dope. And then we have Darth Vader. No, not him. Jason Newstead. Which, as you all, well, at least I, I hope you all know, is from the Justice uh, era. And we have uh, Lars. And all we need is James Hetfield, which is over here. James Hetfield, right there. And then, uh, I have a random, uh, Hellraiser over here. The box, you opened it, we came. Um... The, uh, this is Pogo's Far Beyond Driven record that he, uh, he framed. And, uh, this one's mine that I just had sitting there still in the package. And, uh, I think that's it. Drew Brees. Anyone who doesn't know, I'm a big Saints fan. Drew Brees, and uh, I think Reggie Bush is in here. Let me get a light. Oh, so yeah, I, I got a, I got a full kitchen in here. Anyone who wants to come over and make me something to eat? I'm tired of cooking by myself for myself. All right, this is something interesting. Uh, this is a New York Post from uh, 1998 of when Marilyn Manson trashed a hotel room over in uh, Poughkeepsie, Poughkeepsie, New York, which is, isn't too far from here. So this is uh, 20 years old. And there's Reggie Bush. But look at that. 20-year-old fucking newspaper, and I still have it. New York Post. My mother picked that up for me a long time ago. So I got around here. Um, I think that's it for my rarities and my uh, my oddities. Um, I recently brought my flag over, and uh, I fed my snake today. And uh, oh, oh, well, here's something. This is uh, the uh, poster for uh, the Metallica Suicide Tendencies and uh, Danzig show. And uh, these are all of Pogo's Slayer picks that he got for Christmas a few years back. And... Uh, that's about it. So, if you like my stupid videos, like and subscribe and all that bullshit. And uh, if you don't, comment how much you think they suck. And that's that. So, stay metal.